Hi, my name is Javier Zuniga. I'm a chef and co-owner of Bad Habit and Caleta in this village. This is $10 fine dining where we make amazing dishes for under $10 a portion. And today we're doing twice baked sunchokes. In order to do that, we're gonna start off by boiling our sunchokes. I'm just gonna dump our sunchokes right into the water. This will take a couple minutes depending on the size of the sunchokes, between five to 10 minutes, I would say. All right, so once we have our sunchokes boiled, what we're looking for is a soft consistency, but we don't want them to break apart in our fingers, pretty much as you would with a potato. Another way to check in this is once they start floating, most likely they'll be ready. Once we have our cooked sunchokes, we're just gonna cut them in half. So very carefully, we're gonna try to remove all the meat from the sunchoke without damaging the actual skin. This is one of the elements that will actually elevate your dish at home. We don't wanna leave too much meat just because we want the skin to really crisp up. We're gonna roast a whole head of garlic in the oven with a little bit of olive oil at 350 for about an hour. We're gonna go ahead and take our roasted garlic. We're just gonna cut the very top of it and just gonna squeeze all this garlic into our sunchoke puree. We're gonna season with a little bit of salt. Just a little bit of olive oil as well. With the help of a fork, we're just gonna bring it all together. This is one of those dishes that require a little bit more effort than your average dish will. But again, this is $10 fine dining, right? Today we're gonna fry these at 350. We want enough temperature to make them crisp up, but we don't wanna burn them. I'm gonna test with one. As soon as we hear that, it means we're good to go. Just make sure to keep moving your skins as you fry them, because we don't want them to burn. We want them to fry evenly. And once they're nice and golden, we can take them out of the oil let them dry a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and mix our little furikake. Furikake is a Japanese condiment, usually made out of sesame seeds, dried fish, and seaweed. We're gonna take a little bit of our furikake that we're gonna season with lemon zest. I love zesting lemon and other citruses just because it really releases those aromas and those flavors. Then we're gonna grab our chives and then we're gonna chop them up really finely. Again, really trying to elevate the dish and make it something a little out of the ordinary. Give that a toss to mix it all together. We're gonna take our sunchoke skins, we're gonna place them in the bottom, and then we're just gonna put our mixture on top. Make sure everything is really nice and coated. Make sure that those little vessels are filled. I'm gonna sprinkle some of our furikake on top. And there you go. Twice baked sunchokes. It's like the perfect bar snack, but elevated, but at home. It's really garlicky. It's super bright from the lemon zest. You can smell the lemon zest. You can smell the nori from the furikake and the creaminess from the sunchokes. It's just amazing. I just love this dish. Enjoy.